Okay. Well done. This is where the accident happened, isn't it? If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. There may be enemies ahead. Are you sure you guys are ready? That's right. I want to see what happened to Marisan with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What is this? It looks like this is the Snow Festival. those two suits over there. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Sir, would you please be discreet about this? I can do that, but in return, you need to do me a favor. I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town, and you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Ah! The mayor! Oh, it seems I've been found out. It's not what it looks like, mayor! Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Mari-san saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this! That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. I mean, it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? What's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck! I can't believe what I'm hearing! I'm calling the police! Well, go ahead and do it, but I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You had 
counts on them, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Well, are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this. This world revolves around money. Money talks bullshit walks, Mayor. Bastard! Threatened the mayor? Is that it? We had no idea Mari-san went through something like this. Something so awful. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. Disappear! 
go down already, damn it! No one likes a pushy politician. all of them. We can get into the throne room now. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for landing them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. <sighs> Something along those lines. Uh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Hyodo overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up! These greedy assholes only wanted money and power! Now I have a better understanding of what Hyoda must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san... Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. So, what do we do for the calling card? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah. The real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? And they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> you guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? So you were here all along. Yep. Sure has been a while. You guys forgot about me, didn't you? Why would you not get in contact with me? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. <sighs> Alright then. Maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Okay, we're sorry. Uh, forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyoto became a monarch. Huh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. What do you mean? It's clear that Mariko Hyoto was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic, I agree. But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. 
but even so. It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law, but the real world isn't so cut and dry. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Tenkichi, that's terrible! Take it back! Sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me, either way the cards fall, you're not letting Hyoto get away with what she's doing, are you? Correct. We're going to stop her. Haru. What Mari-san is doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen, no matter what the reason. Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Yes, we're gonna stop Hyoto. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. I have no objections. It's decided then. Thank you. So how will we send the calling card? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? What are we, a catering service? <sighs> if anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? Ah, uh, no. Not again. Seriously? Thanks in advance, Gramps. Now hold on just a minute. Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? Consider it a favor, then. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. Oh, you little weasels. All right, fine, fine. I'll post the damn calling card. We really do appreciate it. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? Uh, whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. Hey. so late.
Thanks for being here. I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind. My memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together, and the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away, and I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. No, I feel like... like I was running from it all over again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. And of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. <sighs> I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. so upset over Mariko Hyodo. I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Okay. I'll believe you. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. Good day, everyone. Are we ready to make Sapporo a paradise's purest snow? Then remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hyodo. What is that? Calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? Mariko Hyodo, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... You see? And they say they're going to steal my desires? What a bold faced lie! Those desires are mine and mine alone! As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me! 
very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out. First, Mari-san. It'll all be over soon. Yoda's distorted form. What do you people want? You and Best. Best not get in my way. I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re-election. This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will wring out every last ounce of corruption from my staff by working them into the ground! I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And I will consume every last vote in the city! Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven, a radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Listen to him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? How dare you lecture me! Good job, Muir. You tell her. Mari-san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back. Honestly, <clears throat> They're all in my way! Ah. This is the last straw! Ah. Ah. You've made me so very hungry. Still have time, and the main course is through! Ah. Doing is wrong, so we'll be taking those desires back. Shut your prissy little mouth! What would you know? I will consume all who oppose me, no matter who they are! I'll gobble you up! Whoa, what's with all the food? Hi there. <laughs> want some. Now is not the time to cut your face. Here she comes! Go ahead. Looks like the pizza cyclokinesis attacks! Why, damn you! Oh, yeah. 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 
Shall we use them? Go on, you <laughs> She's fully consumed with rage. Everyone, keep your guard up. Her mind is totally unstable. Keep it up! Keep it up! Please allow me. Would you care to join us? Get ready. Take a knife! Huh? You never miss an opportunity, do ya? <laughs> 
shoulder all of this alone. The staff member who took bribes. The councilman who tried to set you up. Even the girl who died in the accident. <sighs> Each of these things grieved you. And in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me! All for their insatiable greed! I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum! That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start, but this time on your own strength. That would be impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! <gasps> are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high. Because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. 
Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Harumchan. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Harucha, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san. Happy? <gasps> this place is collapsing! Let's go! That took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like Hot Pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. Right? You cook it just like barbecue, so... Oh, wait. What were we talking about? <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? Yeah, straight from Sapporo, it's Beauty Thieves award-winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed, she was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo-san's holding a press conference right now. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either.
During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth, all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> As such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as me. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Kichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep, you all did a bang up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Oh, I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. When I became mayor, I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kahochan would want. So let me say thank you, Kahochan. Thank you for saving this city, for saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan. I'm happy for you, Haru. Hmm. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? 
That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious. Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Carl. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over. You become out there again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am. Thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo to transform sadness into happiness. Recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You no, know, it seems like she really understood Yoda's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Marco Yodo! Like that? <laughs> hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Oh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Indeed, <laughs> truly moving. You did good. Uh, that's... It really was touching. <laughs> Use your assistance. What are you gonna do? For real? Yes.
Not quite. So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Come on, don't give me that look. Here, I at least got her smartphone. Now that's what I want to see. After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. Oh? I'm curious as to why you think so. Kyoto, Natsume, Alice... All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Matarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Okay, but how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? No, it's nastier than that. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. They'll remember what made them so warped in the first place, and stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these monarchs are being manipulated. And by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. How's Hyodo-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed. But I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into. Though I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? 
Our first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech. Not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Yes, exactly! Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more, and I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public. And when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? You just leave it to me. I've become rather fond of investigating, actually. Well, guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. So what did Ichinose-san say? Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? Shisa statues? Juicy pineapples? Shinsuko cookies? Oh, that too! It's that ramen like thing, yeah? Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going, but Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way. That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Oh, give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. You got hung up on. Okay, guys. Plane to no-go. We're driving. Huh? Do you mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know. Cop stuff. After that, we head to Kobe. We can take a direct ferry to Okinawa from there. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance. Even to Kyoto. Not to worry. I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it. It's just... I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is... Not exactly... Uh... <laughs> well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 21 hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? 
We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like he lit a fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Mm-hmm. Just add this. Okay. Well done. Major choice, here you go. Major choice, here you go. Is this what you thank you? Major choice, thank you. thanks so much. You down, want your pet all, married you down, married pet all, want your you down, want your pet all, married you down. How many 
would you like? You want please spare patronage? How many would you like? You please spare patronage? How many would you like? You put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You thank you very much. What are you gonna do? Would you like me to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Sure, once you've got a license. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. This job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. That may be so, but my heart's set on it. No matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then, decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. <sighs> Let's just say, you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, hmm. So, uh... Nijima, when you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. If only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders, even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. I've heard about it. I'm impressed you never cracked under it all. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm, I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit.
boring now. What do? Well, is anyone feeling peckish yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji. Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you. I ain't some comedian. Shit. No, now. Don't be stupid. Just answer for me, will you? Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Hello? It's way past noon. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. Some kind of emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <sighs> oh, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? Yeah, damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is there overnight? What in the heck? He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Based on my deductions, Today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. Uh, that's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. Right. We should try to find a nearby cemetery. Where do we start? I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even catch Mom's killer. <sighs> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Uh, well... You know... Ah... Uh. What do we even do? We really crashed that ship! She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. 
We're the ones who should explain everything. Um, um, hang on a second. Um, please? What? You guys? What are you doing here? Who are you? Huh? And why are... She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Akane-chan, right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. So, when I talked to you... Mm -hmm. He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up! But for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up! So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh, oh, ha, 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 uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk, considering all the hell I put my own mind. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean, it's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. But don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey, zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects. So, two years. How the time flies. It was... Well, I should go home. Oh, well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, hey, Akane! She's not stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Fine by us, but you sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. 
She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy packaged stuff. Really? It's that bad? I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. Yeah, after what we put her through, I want to at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Wait a minute! You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it! Hey! Hey, you damn kids! Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking to myself here? Akane-chan, could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> Oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so... Gramps? You don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but what happened with Akane's mom? Hmm. <sighs> Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer too, right? They ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. It's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Mmm, so good! Oh, oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing! Let me try, let me try! Delicious. I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. <laughs> the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> it's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. We'd better keep our mouths shut here, Sophia. Oh, man. Oh, did you 
just come up with a new dish? I can't wait to try it out. Oh, man. I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? I agree. You're very quick to learn. You'll be a curry master in no time. Thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Oh, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? Saved my ass back there. The place may be cramped, but it's yours for the night. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way, and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Ah. Uh, so, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Uh, mm, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. Good God! So, this is my room, and... yeah. Whoa, is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff! Well, uh, they are real famous, you know? I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. No, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh... Yeah. How neat! We're all the same, then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup. We're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! <laughs> I... Love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go, Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess your hairdos actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their lives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. He's so mysterious and dreamy. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Akane-chan is so awesome! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. Great! Oh, you know, 
maybe I could let you in on the show. Hmm? What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, how interesting. Yep, sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let us enjoy our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she <laughs> copying you? Oh, pretty close. Dude, he is him. It is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. Her channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's easily a mid-tier account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. Oh, really? Should I go be a special guest? So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. It's embarrassing to admit, but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their M.O. have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's basically what an episode's like. And that was great. You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it, too. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. Kids these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit, especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Oh, thank you. And you could do that with the parentheses anytime you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Yeah, they weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Mm. After Mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays... I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you wanna know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. 
Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Oh. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. I just thought over and over, there's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship, but even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... It's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? <sighs> I saw him. The man that ran mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, They'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there! akane chan He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Hasegawa-san may seem like he doesn't care, I have a feeling he does, in his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasegawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you are around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I just wanted to help. No, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> my, my mom, my mom. She... <sighs> Please, forgive me. I really didn't mean to do this to you. Feel free to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Why is Akane crying? Is she in pain? Okay, I've got it. Akane-chan. Thank goodness Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. <sighs> Those kids.
Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um, once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shit, it is tense here. Oh boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Don't. Come on, please, just stay out of it. Aw, oh, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, Fatabachan? Come on, quit it! Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The time has come. If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... bring tons of snacks and we can stay up all night gossiping we can share a bath again too reach out to me anytime you like i'm looking forward to hearing from you mm-hmm got it have a good trip um i guess be careful uh is that it oh okay Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa! Sure seemed to work for him, though. Wow! How pretty! It's like a field of shining blue jewels. Oh, I know I'm gonna cry. Now this is a sight to see. I'd love it even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. How pretty. What's it like under the water? Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big-ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay then, no wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? And you, Mona, get on my head! Uh, oh, okay? You're... you've... what is this? gotten it all wrong. Isn't this just some kind of weird cheerleading routine? I call it an impersonation of the town musicians of Raymond. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous! You guys are so stupid. Finally made it. Mm. On that ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. It was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? Oh, there are more people than I expected. Right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all this. This actually was a pretty quiet place until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan. Find your new tropical life. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. 
Sounds like summer vacation's back on. Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, which way? Hit us with the deep, Sophia. Hmm. Huh? What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. How's that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. That's the case. We should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. Ooh, I just buy a souvenir shop. I'm gonna buy something for Soju. Wait, Futaba. I'll join you in the search for native crafts. Hello, Commissioner? It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the Phantom Thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? That's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa. The Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Is that clear? Uh, <clears throat> understood. Beautiful. Will that be all? Will that be? Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. Come back whenever. What you look? Oh, that's good to that. So bad. Well, I recommend it. I recommend it. Here you go. Please come again. Mahalo. Well, 
So that's what you think. So that's what can you please recommend? Thank you. Please recommend. Can you? So that's what thank you. So that's what can you hold all that? I'll be waiting for. Is this the path to the research facility? I believe so, yes. A sacred festoon? Don't you only see that stuff at shrines and shit? What's it doing here? Ooh, ooh, I got it! They sealed a legendary yokai in there! Ah. This is a lab, though. Wouldn't we find zombies or things like that instead? Ridiculous. You were kidding, right? Enough nonsense. This lab's in the real world. Let's get going. Hey, Sophia. Just to be sure, there's no jail here, right? There is no jail on this island. I think. You think? Well, I thought you smelled them or whatever. Yeah. You'd mentioned that you find the jails based on their scent. I am currently detecting zero scents. Unlike Sendai and Sapporo, I cannot sense a jail here. However, there is indeed something odd about this place. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling, huh? Ooh, maybe you're picking up somebody with a grudge. Ooh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Cut it out. It's not funny, Futaba. Whatever's up there, we need to check it out. We are closed until August 18th due to prior engagements? Well, sure didn't see that one coming. Oh, now there's an idea. Let's get into some Phantom Thieves action in the real world. Hey, hey, nothing that lands you in jail. Criminal trespassing will cop you a felony. Plus, any evidence gained through a criminal act is impermissible in court. That make this whole trip pointless. I mean, we know, but the sign says the 18th, so we'll just wait till tomorrow. Easier and less illegal. Once the staff is back, I can start flashing my badge and asking questions. This place is all kinds of shady, so I'm sure I'll turn up plenty of dirt with enough poking around. Once I've got some evidence, I can announce the start of an official investigation, and at that point, we confiscate whatever we need. I see. That's quite the tactical approach. Ooh, check out the skills of Zenkichi, private eye. Yeah, I'm in public security. If we're waiting until tomorrow, that gives us quite some time. Wait, you mean we get to party all day on the beach? Yeah, we don't want to waste any more time. How often do we get a chance like this? Come on now. We are on a case, you know. Actually, that's not the worst idea. Getting too nosy right away could get people suspicious, and we cannot have that. We'd be better off trying to lay low around the tourists for now. So... We get to party? On the beach? Christine Sands? Lady On? And to top it off, a barbecue? And to top that, lobster. We have we venture forth. Okay, also 
search nearby stores. Or rather, nearby store. The only supermarket on the island is back at the port. What do you guys think about here? This spot just screams, Beach Party! The water is mesmerizing. It almost looks dreamlike. All right, let's set up camp. Beach time! <laughs> hey, wait for us, dude! Hold on! You haven't put on sunscreen! Hey, 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 can't you kids at least behave? Jeez, this loud ass rats. Don't be stupid. I'm gonna check a few things on the camera. You go have fun. People will be suspicious of anyone with such a sour look on their face, Inkichi. If you're gonna act like a tourist, at least fake having fun. Why not try relaxing for once? Remaining on edge all the time can't be good for you. You can't beat this opportunity, Senkichi san. <laughs> Are you really gonna let the little lady down, Senkichi? <sighs> fine, fine. I'll take a break. But just a short one. Hear me? <laughs> you don't seem too bothered at all over it. Shut up! Take me with you. This will be my first time in the ocean. Smartphones are totally waterproof nowadays. Please? I know this phone can go underwater. I just checked again. You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, well, it's some detailed work for a bunch of <laughs> damn kids! Get back here, you're all under arrest! Damn. Damn it. Ah! 
By the way, That every here you go. That every take, that every take, I repair you. Go. Please come again. Beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. 
I admit, it only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. There's an Utaki down that way. See, there, on the sign? What's an Utaki? Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to Earth. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. Oh, I've never heard of that stuff here. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up, though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu-era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. I checked online for any relevant information, but this place does not appear to have any real significance. The other subjects here are far more interesting, such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life form. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. My apologies. Inari's stomach, right on time as always. Well, I'm starving too. I bet we all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Should we finally kick off our... Uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some Tropical Edition LeBlanc curry! Uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? Hmm, I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Thank you for earlier. When you gave me the underwater tour, it was a fascinating experience and something no AI could ever do on their own. I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. It's a simple fact. There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other Phantom Thieves, it's quite fun. Did I get that right? I got it! I understand another emotion. Okay. I've memorized what fun is. Hey! Pick up the pace! We got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! Oh man, this meat is so good! Hey! You saw me about to grab that piece! The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? Oh, stop! I know you were just trying to flatter me, but there is an actual model here. Don't embarrass me like that. I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra pounds? It probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! Hmm. What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Hmm? Oh, nah. Something bothering you? It's 
Probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. Hey guys. Something's up. Yeah? What's that? Keep it down. And listen. I think... They can't be far! Find them! We have they to punish them for defiling hollow ground! Find them! We'll they make an offering out of them! Where are them. they? They couldn't have gotten far! Spread out! Come on! They can't! Come on! Find they're them. somewhere! Dude, what the hell is going on? Those guys are effing nuts! No kidding. If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about defiling hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? It didn't actually go, though. Maybe... It was the lab? Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it, these people have lost their minds. Wait, could this be... And that would mean there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't detect. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Is that a good idea? Won't there already be brainwashed locals there? Actually, it might be smarter than it seems. What do you mean, Gramps? It's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure there's no jail, but I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? I've got to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there? Without getting spotted? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the Phantom Thieves? Well, those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead. And keep your voices down. Them, right? Yeah. Looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Wait. Listen. Eek! Footsteps. Hide.
What's he doing? I can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave it to the professional. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any of his buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Hello, excuse me? Scout! You dare defile our Lord's hallowed ground? Oh, wow. Watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass. Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. Up, oh, found it. Yep, there's Emma, all right. And he only has one friend? Shuzo Ubukata? There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Ah, uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. A cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who call this place hollowed had their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find a jail here, right, Sophia? I'm not sure. At the very least, I do not smell one. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here, testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay, let's do it. Emma, add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword, Operation Oraculi. Ah. Uh. I guess it doesn't work. Wait, I can smell a jail. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Queen, <gasps> you all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, all oh, fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you too, Can! Wait, I didn't know you two were...
there really is a jail here. And that means this Ubukata person is its monarch, right? But why wasn't Sophie able to detect it until just now? There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? Once the keyword was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Ah, huh. so you mean jails have a sleep mode? Now this is a new wrinkle. You appear to have entered quite the conundrum. Hmm. What awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she... No, I oughtn't speak any further. My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. As for why I have called you here, a new form of persona execution is now at your disposal. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. Triad Fusions allow you to generate even more powerful personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Performing a fusion. It seems that it can gain new power. You wish to browse the... What will you, would you like to read... This persona has been registered in its present condition. Awaken your new self. Awa it seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can choose which skill. Is this the persona? Now, let us begin. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? This is what you... The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. How much power will you add? This is what you chose. Okay. How much power will you add? This is what... Okay. How much power will you add? How much power will you add? This is what you... Okay. Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can... Choose which... Is this the person? Now, let us... 
begin. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Is this the... Be born anew. Seems that it can gain new power. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you have? This is what you chose. Okay. How much power will you this is what you Okay. May luck be on your side. Hmm? What's up? Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back, fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Ugh, sorry. But I'm going to stick around here while you... Do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Hell no. I'm a grown man. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Hey, wait! Sophie! Let's go, Joker. 